Hi, this is Brock Emery with Landmark Implement. Today we're going to go over the 4 Series Sprayer Gen 4 Monitor Boom Track Settings. If you've looked, if you've listened to any of our previously recorded videos, you will remember that in the bottom right hand corner is our main menu tab. Bottom right hand corner is our main menu tab, and this brings up our machine settings, applications, and systems. Today we're going to focus on machine settings, boom, and nozzles. And up here in the top right hand cor corner is our Boom Track Pro status. As I touch the Boom Track Pro status, here is where I can make adjustments to our Boom Track. First of all, we've got our target sensor settings. We've got canopy or ground. So m most of our pre plant applications are going to be in ground. And once that crop starts coming out of the ground, we'll change that to canopy. The next dro drop down, we have center frame control on or off. Meaning if I'm on, this, the target height of my center frame will, will determine the height of my boom. If I'm off, it gives me wings. Target height, this is where I adjust my target height to wherever how high I want it running off of either the ground or the canopy. So I'll say 36 inches. Because I'm indoors, I can't get in here and change my wing heights. Had I been outdoors and we could change our wing heights. A lot of you will typically run your tips two to three inches higher than your center just to give yourself a little bit of room. All right, then we have a raise and lower response. If I look at these, I have a raise, I can a raise response of one to five, with a one being the least responsive and a five being the most responsive. So typically a lot of operators will run a raised response of five, meaning you're coming to an obstacle, the sensor sees that it needs to raise and we raise it in a hurry. On the flip side of that, we like to lower it a little bit more casually so we don't get that boom width. That's where those are. If I look at the top center of the page, anywhere where I have an arrow and a dot, that means there's more information to dig into. So as I look at our arrow and our dot, we also have a terrain type. Our terrain type is hilly or flat. So if you live in Kearney County, Nebraska, we're going to be in flat. If we live in Marysville, Kansas, we're going to be in hilly. And our height match center frame or our individual. Those are the main, that's the main arrow with the dot, further setups on our target heights. That concludes our, our boom track settings. Thank you.